So here goes. Yep. Up a bit. Yes. Yes, we've got Ooh, it. We so got clear. Signal. Look at me. Look at me. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Whoa, I can feel the video. Can you? <laughs> no, I can't feel it. No. <laughs> wow. That's a pretty and strong that's, signal. That's not e yeah, yeah, that's not Wait, even. Try on moving the... it away. That's yeah, really I'm, good. I'm still getting it. That's oh, wow. Holy really? shit, that's man. Oh, you've wow. never done that before. That's really good. Yeah. Wow. That's fucking nuts. Hannes belongs to a global community of biohackers who experiment with do-it-yourself ways to enhance the human body. My initial incision was a little shallow. You might be able to see it. There we go. They share their experiences online for all to see. And the deeper you look into this world, the more dangerous it gets. Biohacking used to be hidden on sites that were unindexed and impossible to find. But now, anyone can mail order implant kits from DangerousThings.com, a hacker gadget company that sold 5,000 human microchips in just the last couple of years. But what if you went a step further? What if you could collect information about other people without them knowing it? Some people hack software, I hack my face. My name is Rob Spence, I'm a filmmaker, and they call me iBorg. So many characters in science fiction and pop culture have prosthetic eyes. You know, the Terminator, or Geordi from Star Trek. It's an interesting idea to have a realistic looking camera eye. I mean, that's what the Bionic Man had. We can rebuild him. So that's what I want. As a documentary filmmaker, one of the things you always want is for somebody to act naturally. And what better way to get somebody to act naturally than to hide the camera in an eye? one that looks like a human eye, where the person doesn't know that you're recording them. This is a way that I can use technology in an empty eye socket to get a very human uh, piece of film, a very human conversation. There's such small cameras out there. They should be, in theory, easy to put into a prosthetic eye. But it's difficult. There's no manual. We are much more do-it-yourself. We have liftoff yes. for video out. Spent uh, a good portion of yesterday wandering all over Chinatown looking for parts. Blade Runner, Chris. Yeah. They wandered all over Chinatown looking for spare eye parts That's as true. well to identify various skin jobs. Skin job is Terminator. Skin jobs are from Blade Runner. Okay. That's who Harrison Ford uh, kills. I'm looking for this. No, that's, okay. that's replicants. Replicants. Replicant. Exactly. I think they're both. There we go. There you are, my little darling. There's basically five versions of iBorg. iBorg 1.0. It's alive. It's not working very well, but it's alive. Version 2. And... Version 3, boom, it's amazing. But it's totally clear, you can see the battery. Version 4 is us trying to make a realistic looking eye camera, but we just don't have enough time to put all the resources together. Right now, we're doing version 5. Version 5 is simply an eye camera that looks like a human eye. The first time we got the eye camera going, it was. It was thrilling, actually, because no one else had ever done it, and, and in fact, nobody else has since. Yeah, it's kind of creepy when your own eye is staring back at you. Okay, so let's, let's see if this bad boy works, then. Ooh, it's a bit of a tight fit. I'm having a little trouble 
pulling the lower lid over it. You remember, Martin, the old one was, was sort of a tight fit as well. Well, three was a really tight fit. It may be that we've got too much material in the join between the two sides of the shell here. Yeah. Wow. That's not... That's, that's not good, that's is it? <laughs> that's not good. No. Hey, can you tell <laughs> that I'm wearing... It's totally... <laughs> hey, wow, I'm just normal. That's fine, eh? <laughs> We may have to basically squeeze the electronics in a bit further. Do you think we'll mess up the components if we open it up, take the wax out? I mean, my thinking is just to basically grind off thickness there. We'll sterilize it again and we can try again. Sure, there's a danger to upgrading. Sometimes you move ahead before you're ready to go. However, if you don't change, you're going to die. I've had to make some adjustments to how the electronics are positioned because having brought the back in, we didn't have space for the battery anymore. Okay. Let's put this bad boy okay. into my face. <laughs> I really hope that works. <laughs> this off. <laughs> I don't know what it means to, to always have video access all the time of everything, but it's just data. We, we always have more data. Video usually has a more accurate portrayal of, of an objective truth of something that's happened. Um, that may not necessarily be a great thing. Can I look? <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, nobody said spies have to be good looking. <laughs> you know? Okay, I'm tuned on channel three. Okay, you ready? Yep. Everyone ready? So here it goes. Yep. Up a bit. Yes. Yes, we've got Ooh, it. We so got a signal? Clear. Look at me. Look at me. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Whoa, I can feel the video. Can you? <laughs> no, I can't feel it. No. <laughs> wow. That's a pretty and strong that's, that's signal. Not e yeah, yeah, that's not Wait, even. Wait, try on moving the... it away. That's yeah, really I'm, good. I'm still getting it. That's oh, wow. Holy really shit, good. man. That's it's really never good. done that before. That's really good. Yeah. Wow. That's fucking nuts. That never, it never goes that far. It, it doesn't look 100% like a real eye, but it doesn't look <laughs> like a video camera, that's for sure. You'd be very sneaky with that. Are you recording me right now? There are implications to everyone shooting video all the time. And, and it's, it feels invasive, you know. Um, there's not many spaces left that we have privacy. It's a little bit creepy. <laughs> what that does to society, I, I don't know. Video footage is ultimately just information. But we feel like that's the last little part of our lives that we don't want to share that information. Um, I think it's too late, though. Sorry. It's a phenomenon known as the Internet of Things, and we're making ourselves part of it. Sometimes I wonder, where else can we take this eye? And you know what? There's endless possibilities. But increasingly, people who aren't missing anything want to augment themselves. If people can afford it and it improves your life, then they're going to get it. Can you grab me a glass of wine?